Hi Chai, uh, it's good to see you here and it's good to see you at this special place, Simoy Moy Kyun Make Cafe. Okay, so um, Chai, first things first, what do you do and uh, what are your kumbaga, accomplishments? Uh, hi and hello and thank you for asking. And I'm doing cosplay and especially charities too. I'm really a busy girl for schedules. This is our duty as heroes. Well, I'm doing my new cosplay characters and actually I need to save the budget. Just saving fun. So what we're actually doing, we're just doing, uh, we're making some new characters for, I heard there's a new cosplay competition here in Moi Moi. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm looking at the maids right here, their competitions. But sayang, I cannot be here, so I had to go somewhere. But of course, all my friends will come here. Well, wish them good luck. Mm. Um, what do you do as a cosplayer? I I cosplay DC, Marvels, anime, especially doing prosthetics, like gory horror makeup. I'm sorry, guys, but of course, I love horror more than any simple characters. <laughs> So you're not easy to be frightened, no? People been frightened with me, yes. I mean, sometimes all the kids been crying with me and got scared, but <laughs> of course I need to cover my face. I can hold them and shake their hands. <laughs> uh, in case of horror movies, uh, uh, what's your favorite horror movie? Oh my gosh, I love all. Ever mm. since... From the Joan to the Ring to Joss. I know all the horror movies. Ever since like when I was 14 years old, I just started knowing horror movies. Like my favorite were Nightmare Elm Street, Freddy Krueger, and yes, my idol, Michael Myers Halloween. Yeah. Jigsaw, mm, The Ring, Scream. Oh my God, all of Leatherface in yes, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, yeah. Texas in the Amityville Horror. Huh? The Amityville Horror. Yes. All right. All right. So, uh, since we're talking about prosthetics here, um, how how did you how did you came up with this idea that uh, you will do prosthetics and what are your achievements so far in doing these things? Well, first of all, when I never knew about prosthetics because I've been doing selfies to myself and even cosplay makeup, but I was almost a little bit getting bored about it. But I want something new. When I discovered in YouTube, all my favorite idols were Pink Stylish, Made You Look, and I said, oh my gosh, I mean, this is amazing. Because in my time, in around, I guess, 2013, no, no, nobody cosplay any prosthetics in competitions. Mm. Because I was the first girl who do uh, prosthetics, but nobody knows about me because uh, nobody was focusing on me. I was like hiding my face all the time and that's why they were saying who is this girl who, who is this in stage and when I changed my profile they're like is this her <laughs> and especially my first prosthetics was the walking dead I love all the seasons in the walking dead especially all my characters I love but Sion I feel bad all the zombies are dead <laughs> um, the first, uh, of course the makeup how I did, uh, I don't know if anybody see my picture, the the one I did the job and the teeth and ripping out my lips, yes. Um, the first makeup artist who did that was LMX Makeup in YouTube. I don't know if I say it right, I'm sorry you guys, LMX. Yeah. And it was really successful in Halloween. And I did a great job, I just twisted my back, broken fingers like this and be in character with my yellow eyes oh my God. and jump up in stage. I'm not really scared of jumping very high. I did it in public, I don't really care, so I just do it what I do as a character, as a zombie. Actually, I only co uh, do competition Halloween because people always know, they will say, oh no, she's back, she's oh. doing the walking dead again. But of course, I always make different kinds of prosthetics, like uh, eye dropping out in here, or especially open your guts. <laughs> yes. And just only Halloween, because when you do it in other competitions, some, I, 
I don't want to do it like maybe Christmas or other, but Friday the 13th, yes. Yeah, yeah. I just want to feel safety for the kids. I don't want them to have nightmares or any effect when we do the competitions. I care for kids. Yeah. So uh, it seems that you have a, uh, a some something conflicting between these two kinds of uh, between these two things that uh, you you love kids and then you love prosthetics. Yes. Right. Okay. So let's talk about Cebu's cosplay community in general. From your perspective, what is the cosplay community in Cebu? Hmm. Right in here, in the cosplay community. We always want to feel, let them feel welcome. Whoever they're new, they never tried cosplay before. But of course, we want to give chances for them when they do competition, photo shoot, especially interview. If especially they're first beginners, we will come, let them come with us. And also, we introduce to our friends. I said, hey, meet my new friend here. She's from Los Angeles and she's a cosplayer. It's a, oh, cool. So I want to know all about her or him. Yeah. I always do that. I bring them, and especially I bring my in charity for kids who don't know any of uh, cosplay. Especially, we want to let them to know each other, how what their favorite characters. I always bring them, especially I don't want people who like never try cosplay and I will buy the ticket for them, I want them to try them. Uh, from what you've said, uh, what I understood is that Cebu has a helping, uh, welcoming cosplay community. Yes, we do. Yes, we're really, uh, we're really friendly in the cosplay community. We don't like people to stay behind and they're really shy about it. Yes. Um, besides, I have cool friends with me, Gary and my other friends in CCG, Griffith, yeah. Others, yes, all of you guys. Yeah. Right. So what can you tell more about the community that us Tagala uh, in Metro Manila or Manila or in other places uh, that uh, don't know? Something unique about this community aside from uh, the welcoming and the helpful crowd? Well, actually, we work as a team. And whenever we do competitions and do solo, we always work as a team whenever we try to uh, accomplish it, to reach the goals. What we want to, we want to prove ourselves, we can do it. Like, we're not like, we're just beginners. We want to show them we can do it. Like, my experience, yes, I was a weakling cosplayer, but I show it to them. And I want to see everyone who has that experience to do it. Thank you very much, Chai Adamson. And uh, it, uh, would you like to mention your YouTube channel or your uh, Facebook, or do you have a Facebook page? Okay, uh, listen up, suck my little creatures. I'm Chai Ann Adamson or Adamson Chai. <laughs> And here's my YouTube channel, which is going to be Cheyenne Adamson. And my Instagram is Adamson Creations. Facebook is Cheyenne's Play Arts. You can check out all my photos, my videos, and also I always be updated. All right. So with that said, thank you very much. Chai, uh, Chai Adamson. Uh, Cheyenne Adamson. Uh, yeah, Chai. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I see. laughs>